Well, South Africa's well-known Tetswana contemporary musician Corey Moraba has died of uh, COVID-19 complications. He was 73 years old. His daughter Jolene Moraba says her dad died at a hospital in Pretoria West last night and has been hospitalized for the past two weeks after contracting the coronavirus. Funeral arrangements are yet to be finalized and many will remember that hit song, Twang Twang Twang, in 1971. All right, I want to get some reaction on the death of this legendary musician and bring in another legendary musician, Kondri Zikobu. He joins us now live. Kondri, our deepest, deepest condolences to you and the Moraba family. Talk to us about your reaction when you first heard the news. Uh, it was really uh, sad news, very sad news. Yeah, a friend of mine called me this morning to tell me, you know, that the passing of uh, Cory Marab, and it took me by surprise, you know. Yeah, uh, we worked together for a long time with Cory. I met Cory during the 70s, you know. We, we grew up together in this music uh, industry. Mm. It's really, really, really a, a big loss because, you know, annually we used to have uh, festivals around the country, you know, performing our old hits. Yeah, we're definitely going to miss him. You know, particularly, he, he's never died a hit song, uh, the one that you played just now, Zhang Zhang. You know, that, that song was a hit in the 70s, even today, people are still enjoying it. It's really, really a sad, sad, sad loss, you know. Yeah, many yeah. South Africans can't end their wedding celebrations without playing that song. It's deeply entrenched into the fabric of uh, South African society when it comes to celebration. Uh, yeah. Talk to us about his work ethic. I mean, you met in the 70s, you worked with him all these years, even to the very end. Talk to us about that. Yeah, I worked, I worked with him during, you know, the 70s. We all started together as, as young, young, we were very young, you know. And, you know, what a performer, energetic performer, you know. And wherever, wherever, wherever he, he performed, oh, it's just a wow. People will just be excited and like his music. Particularly um, when he composed this song, 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 you know, it became a hit during also, they played it uh, when people were celebrating weddings yeah. and birthday parties and all that, you know. You know, a, a life of a musician is, I guess, made up of many highs and sometimes many lows. Talk to us about how he handled both aspects of that. Yeah, okay, I'm not, I can say it again. I, I'm just talking about, you know, in general, the life of a musician is made up of yeah. many highs and, and sometimes many lows. I, I just wonder, you know, you, you knew him pretty well. How did he handle both both? those aspects yeah well, as a musician you know there are, yeah, there are a lot of cha -cha 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 -cha. yeah i think our situations are the same because you know in the music business sometimes you'll find out there are jobs sometimes there are no jobs mm. you stay for six months no jobs you know so i think it's the same the struggle of a musician even today you know you know you rely on promoters booking us you know, sometimes we are being booked and sometimes we are not and, you know, and and again, we also rely on our music be played on the radio so that you get royalties. You know, if your music yeah. is not played on the radio, you suffer, you know, yeah. You know, uh, since you knew him so well, take us to the essence of the man. Who was Corey? I mean, you know, when, when you guys were just relaxing and just talking about general stuff, what was he interested in, in generally, apart from music? Yeah, well, uh, remember that, you know, we'll only meet as musicians when we're doing performances, right. not that we together every day and all that. You know. Because I know so, uh, uh, Corey, uh, he, he's, he's a sweat and you, use, you know, you used to live in... That's where he stayed and then me on the other side of Johannesburg in Alexandra, so mm. I cannot say go deep, 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 yeah. you know him, like, like I'm saying to you that we only met 
when there's a performance, then we'll sit down and, you know, discuss for those few hours and all that, you know. And, but and, he was a gentleman. He was yeah. a gentleman, really. I, I respect him. He was a gentleman. I mean, yeah. I mean and, he did all what he could, what God has given him. You know, he played his part. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, and no doubt yeah. those those interactions that you had with him after a performance or before a performance left an indelible mark in your life. What would you miss the most? Yeah, really, I'll, 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 miss, I'll, miss, I'll miss his vibe, you know. He was a vibey guy, he liked to, 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 to joke. I'll miss, I'll miss his jokes, you know. He was a very happy, he was always a happy guy, you know. So when we're sitting around, we'll, we'll, we'll have a laugh as musicians, you know, cracking jokes and all that, you know. I'll really also miss his gravel. He had a beautiful voice, you yeah. know, like a gravel voice, like he liked, like Tendi class kind of voice and all that, you know. I'm definitely going to miss him, you know, definitely going to miss him. Yeah. May his soul rest in peace, yeah. Yeah, may his soul definitely rest in peace. You yeah. saw that that picture we just had on the screen with that wide smile, and I guess may these memories stay in your mind uh, throughout the years. May his legacy live on. Uh, Kondri, yes. thank you very much indeed for your time. Be well. God no, bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much.